bit. Um, Doing two things at once over here is not necessarily the easiest thing. What? Being weird. Um. Okay. Let me try to fix this real quick. Um, yeah, I'm gonna fix the audio. Okay, I can everyone hear Ostrov okay? I just, you were really quiet, so I low. Made your audio higher. Oh yeah, oh, something's happening over here. Yeah, I can't hear you talking, I was, but no, I can't. Yeah. Um, so. Okay, yeah, now we can hear you. Okay. So um, I'm gonna get a ready from both runners really quick. So we have a race between Yuri Wessels and John Rossums. Yuri has a PB of 102.59. John has a PB of 108.36. Well, it does seem like it might be a large disparity. I think this race will be closer than it might seem. Okay. Huh. All right, so right now we have our runners with timers set to 1.53 a.m. on, well, Normally, we would have it on March 11, 2018. Yuri decided to be different, but the most important thing is 153 because it allows uh, for daylight savings time abuse, which is a trick you'll see in the Sand Kingdom. And right now, we should have the runners starting any minute now. Once uh, John is ready, who is ready? All right, so should be starting any time soon. Okay, I just did my favorite part. Counting them down. So yeah, we're gonna be ready to go. So now we have our runners uh, entering Cap Kingdom, starting off. Oh my off. God, they're almost synced. I'm, I'm, yeah. I don't even have to do anything. They're like literally synced. So Cap Kingdom is uh, one of the shortest kingdoms in the game. It's also the most optimized, arguably the most optimized. Um, so coming out of Cap Kingdom, we shouldn't see a large disparity between uh, the two runners, barring any major mistakes, even though their PBs are relatively different. Yeah, the PBs are about a little more than five minutes apart, by, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, it should be a little closer in looks. I think John can PB easier than you are would be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Runner skipping the first cutscene, doing a triple jump onto, up to the uh, ledge here, to flip the first switch. And they do a, they go into first person mode there in order to uh, have, uh, so the camera doesn't pan which is uh, about a one-second time save. 
coming into Frog Room, which is uh, the first capture in the game, where uh, they can uh, jump really high as a frog and vector by uh, going in a 45 degree angle to uh, speed up more, I guess. <laughs> deciding to go for right side John Rossum's 2 uh, which is surprising for uh, Yuri I guess with his 102 but I guess it's uh, definitely safer and left side uh, only saves about 2 seconds um, it's uh, left side is a trick if you didn't know where as the name says you go to the left side of the kingdom of the uh, tower and it's uh, I guess difficult when you're starting out jump uh, to go up to topper, but it doesn't save very much time. So now we see Yuri uh, exiting Cap Kingdom along with John, not too far behind. Yeah, John's not going to be very far behind, but I think Yuri's getting a 225 or 226, which is decent with right uh, with right side of it. Yeah, 226, barely. Yeah. And John's going to say 229, which is still good with the right side. It's only a three second difference because uh, the kingdom's relatively optimized and you don't see. A very uh, large difference between runners, even though their PBs are relatively different. Okay. Have the runners uh, collecting their first moon here with the chain chomp, um, and I don't expect any DSS shenanigans here. Yeah, we shouldn't see any Especially DSS. No upside. Yeah. <laughs> If you didn't know, DSS is uh, another is a name for a uh, Dino Skip Skip, which uh, is a difficult jump that allows you to uh, go to Madame Brutal faster. Uh, but instead, these runners will just be using the Dino to do Dino Skip, uh, which you'll see here in a moment. So now we see Yuri capturing the dino. He's going to go down and go onto the trampoline in order to bounce up to the uh, Madame Brood fights. All right. Let's see if John Rossum pulls it off too. Yep, both are strong. And did it fine. Dino skip isn't too difficult, so. So defeated Madame Brood. John also Did getting a decent cascade exit. Yep. So the first, yeah, cascade, just like Cap, is still relatively optimized, and you don't see a large difference between uh, the two runners. Yeah, Sand Kingdom is where we're going to start to see the difference between these two skill levels, but most likely. If the trap's like yeah. a ram. Alright, I don't... Um, Chess yeah. clip shenanigans here. Uh, yeah, Yuri's going for the clip in there. And Adam, what I was saying earlier, honestly, DSTA movement is also what we'll see the difference between the runners. Absolutely. So Yuri's exiting Cascade. Yeah, John went for the Cliff Moon too. You can uh, go to the Chess Moon, which is uh, lower, but it, uh, it involves a Moon Clip, and you have to do it quickly, which is not very easy, and you don't really see runners except for top ones going for that usually. All right, so they're both off to Sand now with a relatively decent... Uh, Exits for Cascade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they. I think they both had five forty somethings. I'm not sure. I think John might have gotten the five fifty. Oh, yeah. So good exit. Mm, no fasting. I don't think that was a fast action guide skip. Fast action guide for Yuri. I don't know if it was. Shut off. 
No for Johnny there. Yeah, no, it's very hard and... I mean, well, there is a setup, but it's kind of slow. Alright, so Yuri's gonna move into this DSCA movement, he's gonna put the seat in. See it in a moment, all right. So because he set the timer uh, at the beginning of the run, if everything went correctly, which I'm pretty sure it did, he will, uh, once he exits this rumble room coming up, the seed will have grown instantly. Okay. So both doing it very well so far. Yeah, both got the bird, which is pretty important. Yeah, All right. Yeah, you're easy. Oh, which I realize I'm still spelling his name wrong. I'm very good at spelling. John bonking on uh, employees only, that's not good. That is a kind of annoying thing to do, really. All right, let's see if Yuri gets this Dune Moon first try. Oh my god, he did! <laughs> yeah, we're, I'm just fixed in the spelling here. I'm realizing as I go. Yes, so uh, you're like Let's see if he's going to. Oh, well, yep, he's going to go for it. Okay, looking good. Mm, I think that probably did it. I remember the first time. Like, yeah, so. yeah you got it. Yeah. Make it easy. Go for it. With a 108, we'll see. No, he's not going for it. not going for it. I don't blame him either. It only saves like four or five seconds if done, but if you miss it, you lose like. I don't know, it's probably the same amount. Of bullet. We'll see if he performs the bullet bill minute correctly. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Maybe he yeah. might. No, I don't think this is gonna work out. Yeah. He might get the single build, though. Yeah. Looks like, yo, know, that's not a good bonk there. Looking like he's having some issues getting up there. He's oh, no. not to take that bullet, though. Interesting. I'm not sure why he's doing that. Yuri made it up finally, and he's up to this uh, block moon. Coming up on Jaxi Skip, one of the most difficult uh, tricks in the game. We'll see if he pulls it off. And it's a lot harder than it looks for beginners. <laughs> he pulled it off. Let's go. Now John's about to go for it. Doing the slower bullet bowl movement there. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if he's trying to be safe. I wasn't looking before, but that's interesting. I think Yuri's about to come up on the notes moon, which is. I don't believe he'll be going for a single spin throw, which is pretty difficult. Kind of, uh, it's really annoying. In speedruns. Yeah, no, then go for it. At least he didn't fall down. Yeah. I fall down more than it should happen. I fall down at least once every 30 runs. <laughs> Falling down is not a good thing to do. I gotta stand alive. Okay. Mm, looks like John will do that as well. Yeah, Yori should be getting a sub 11 jumps. No, he's not going to. He's going to... I think it's like an 11 13. Let's see. It's just 11, pretty solid. 11 09. Especially if you're 1 and 2. 10 50. Yeah, for a race, that's not bad. And so John should be getting like 11 08 or 11 08, which is pretty good for a 108. Definitely. All right, it's out of sand, going into Lake Kingdom. 
lake is pretty you don't really see much uh time loss in lake unless uh, of course you see lake clip but i don't expect that from either of these runners large uh disparity still even after all the stuff in sand i guess yuri uh had difficulty getting uh, up to the bullet bill for the box moon or the whatever that's called the block moon i guess Yeah, so Yori's not going for Lily Clip. I don't, I'm almost positive John's not going for either. Yeah. No I haven't way. seen that many at this point. I believe we've seen Dance to Hey there. Did see? Or with the 107, but. And John. Yeah, so the kingdom should be pretty straightforward. There shouldn't be any major time losses in this. This kingdom's pretty easy. Unless uh, one of them has to trouble with Ranko. Uh, pretty good run for himself with uh compared to his PB, I would say. He look looks to be having uh no trouble with Ringo. Starting out with Ringo might be a little difficult, but yeah. it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Pretty good lake for me. Rossum's awesome also isn't bad, but Rossum's is pretty good too. Rossum's is right, Rossum. three flat. I don't know about yours. Yeah, this is a good run for John. If I have his PB. Both of their PBs do seem to be pretty old, so there may be... A lot of potential for uh it could be either russ or there might be a lot of potential potential for them to pb so we'll see about that yeah. a very good exit unless it was john's not bad either um john getting a three flat or maybe a little bit more than that um yeah, good exits from both now this is where the run really starts to get difficult in the woody kingdom Yes, definitely. We're going to see him go for nut flip, most likely. I don't know about John. John May. I don't know about John. I haven't really ever seen him play, so... Yeah, I haven't seen either of these players. So this is I, definitely new for me. I haven't really seen him play that much either, so... A year you got two for it, for sure. Uh, Rock and Bunny Strat, okay. Alright, you're just gonna go up to Nutclip. So Nutclip is a, uh... So, um... So, um... Yeah, so that's, that's a, that's a, it's really half of Spiritless. Okay, yeah, so... The worries about the approach of Nutclip. I don't think John's gonna do shoot root. Yeah, no. He's just gonna. My guess is he's gonna do the big enemy. Just the wolf root. Okay, yeah. He's not... Oh, I think Yori missed Knucklehead. Yep, Yori missed Knucklehead. Oh, there won't be. Uh... Yeah, John's gonna be doing the big enemy. I wonder gonna what Yori's doing. Now. He's just going to, um. Some just go up to the ramp mode. Right Alright. I have no idea why it exists, but it just does. You can just stand on the swell. Yeah. I'm so, as. I'm gonna spot and be finicky. Just skipping the out of bounds moon, oh. since he didn't clip out of bounds, and since he got the piranha moon, he's gonna use that as a replacement for it, and just go up the ramp and do the nut clip route as normal from there. Just the normal. 
Oh, oh, this is not uh, We could see John Russell's pulling ahead by the end of this. Can you say come back? Let's see. Compared to the different routes from both of them. I'm gonna be slightly behind. Okay. It looks oh, like John is not going yeah, to be pulling off an uh, optimal. It looks like John is not going to be pulling off an optimal pipes room here, which could give uh, Yuri some extra time. Mm -hmm. Although we'll see how it goes. Yeah, not uh, good from, from John. Damage recycled? No, he's not going to go for it. He's just going to wait it out. I mean, pipe room can be hurt, and it's, it is very difficult. It can be, it is. He Meaning like 12 or 13 seconds. It's not that much actually. Yuri choosing not to do that buffer jump on poison there, which is kind of stupid, but. Moving is here. John just playing it safe there. Although Yuri's probably gonna go for Spiritless, and John doesn't have that option. That's not that much time saved, it's only like 4 or 5 seconds. So. Ooh, John falling there. I don't know, if you don't bonk relatively quickly, you can just fall down or bonk, and it just it loses a lot of time, and it's, it can be really annoying when that happens. Okay, so, yeah, so you're already doing uh, instant roll cancel flower road skip, which is... For me, sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why, so I just use it. Ooh, so Yuri actually uh, missing the triple jump there, having to do a backup. Mm -hmm. yeah, Ooh, John going for it. Oh, I missed. He missed, but do you think he's gonna do a safer version, I guess? I'm surprised John went for a roll cancel. Pulling it off, I guess. Pulling the backup off well. Yeah. It's a pretty fast backup, I would say. Looks like Yuri's gonna be ahead for the rest of this, though. Especially if he does Spiritless. And so, out of the tower, we're gonna see the runners most likely do two different things. I think Yuri's gonna do Spiritless, and then uh, John's just gonna fight the ball. Which, doing it, if you have a fast pipes, it can be like 5 seconds of time save. But if you're not good at pipes, you're just not gonna save time. Yes, yeah, this is spiritless right here. Uh, buffer jump. Well. And so John probably, he has to just fight spirit. So yeah, unless he was yeah. pulling off some weird route, no one's ever seen him gonna fight spirit. Yeah, Yuri, Yuri seemed to pull off that beginning spiritless movement off well. We'll see if his uh, flooded pipes are better than John's. I can imagine they will be. Just because difference in skill level. <laughs> this is a big area in the game where actually difference in skill level comes to the point. Oh, like, actually, actually taking years. damage. Yeah. Much better. But he is getting that faster cycle, still. Mm -hmm. The... Oh, I guess not really, but... You can see the time difference between Spiritless and not Spiritless. It's gonna be like a 2013 is it for Rory. Let's see what John's gonna get. Oh my god, this actually is pretty cool. Up to Cloud Kingdom. Yeah, 2039. So, yeah, she's right, only so, like 26 seconds apart. So, Yuri's going up to Cloud Kingdom, which is, uh, I mean, you're not gonna see any, uh, time, uh, anyone catching up here, most likely, unless, I mean, you can die at the start, which is about 10 seconds, and you can mess up one of the hat cycles. I'm not sure if John will go for it. I'm, I would suspect that he will, but I'm definitely Yuri will go for the fast hats. Yeah, fast hats. And is uh, I've seen people with like one fifteen go for it, and I've seen people with like one yeah. seven not go for it. It's it's cool. Oh. Yeah, Yuri getting that first oh, hat cycle. Go for Stravnik, I believe. Oh wait, okay. I thought he was about to go hint dark for a second. Stravnik. Like, what? He scared me.
Oh, John missing the first uh, oh, fast hat cycle. Yeah, John missed the fast hat. Well, the first fast hat. We'll see if he does the other phases. Let's go for the first yeah, fast the hat, but not the others. So it just makes it so much easier. Yes. John before, yeah, John's on. Yep. We'll go for all three. And Yuri's out, and John still has uh, another phase to go, so yeah, Yuri's catching up. 47 exit for Yuri. And John shouldn't be too far behind. The Lost Kingdom, which can be very costly to die in, because uh, the floors, or the He's the purple substance, I presume, is poison, poison, which kills instantly, rather than lava, which you might see in Munchen, which you can land on and just take one hit of damage. He's just gonna make it look easy and avoid all of it. Yeah. Actually doing this is not easy by any We'll see if John makes any mistakes. Mm. Oh, oh, oh my god. That's gonna lose him quite a bit of time. That costly there. That's gonna lose him like 20 seconds. Mm hmm. Take an even bigger lead here. Yeah, okay, it's just gonna take a safe this time. Mm. And doesn't make any more mistakes and is able to keep which he's choosing not to go for. No, but when he's taking it safe here. So, yeah. Yeah, taking it safe. Still a little bit here that you can possibly die, but after this and before bridge, you're basically in the clear. Yeah. Sir Klepto shenanigans here. Oh, oh, Yori failing cage. Oh, Yori. That's losing time. So, yeah, he's just gonna go for the other route you'd go for not doing cage triple. And then John's gonna activate Clef though. But John to do uh... I don't think he's gonna be going for cage triple. I think he's just gonna do the normal route. Yeah. Route and cage. Is he already gonna do the up throw? Yep. Black Moon. Metro Kingdom, which can really, uh, really change the race, I would say. Especially, uh, uh, the Wiggler fight in Night Metro, which, uh, if you, if something goes wrong, you can three cycle losing 30 seconds, which could be, uh, could either make the game a lot, the race a lot closer, or it could make the race a disaster for John in particular. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully none of the runners three cycle. Yeah, hopefully we don't see any bad patterns. I mean, you can two cycle with any patterns, just some make it a lot easier. Yuri pulling off that uh, opening movement policy, I believe. Pretty easy, actually. Yeah, is this jump right here to skipping the whole intended construction site walkthrough? Grabs this yep. not allowed, you're not supposed to get to later. And he's gonna skip going up these stairs as well, so we basically just skip the entirety of what we're supposed to go through in there for sure. And now we're just gonna go in the city hall like that. Safer in his movement up to the uh, pylon there in the beginning. I don't think he's gonna be going for the advanced stuff. Yeah, he's just going for the first one going for the strat stuff. He didn't get his cap bounce. Should be going well for him. What he was doing. And then he's about to approach the city hall jump here. And he makes it. Looks fine. Coming up on Wiggler, which can be really annoying. Has some RNG involved, the only RNG in the game, and it's just 
especially if you three cycle it can be really frustrating i don't expect a three cycle from yuri i suspect that he has wiggler under control so city hall goes should be fine no, I'm doing pretty well so far. But I still see the whole thing. Okay, yeah, he gets. Makes it look a little bit closer. So does it. You know, I'm gonna make sure to grab that checkpoint and we can go up to that later. This phase goes. Hopefully, he gets all that. Oh, looking like there might be some problems there. Both fighting the same boss, that means this race is still in control. Oh. Oh, oh that's not good. This is all the shots. So I don't know if those uh, manips are going to work for him. I mean, you're still going to be able to do them, they're just going to end slow. Um, oh, yeah, that's not good at all. So. John actually. Oh, yeah. The best John apparently got the Sway and Breeze Moon, which I don't believe you're supposed to, you're not supposed to get oh, in Nightmare Show. Oh, he did. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, you're not supposed to get that till later. Maybe he's just like uncomfortable with the blind dive. That could be. That could be the case. Although you can just uh, kind of walk like, off and dive into it. You can just like kind of fall down. But, and, like, yeah. Well, um. Movement is there in Metro. Uh oh, John might be having problems. Okay, he's okay. still uh, managed still to get. And then Nori's just gonna work for this pile on right here. And then I think he's gonna do scooter flip. I don't think John's gonna do it. Nori's gonna do it yet. Is he gonna go for drive by? No, he's gonna go for fast setup. No drive by. Pulled it off successfully. Be going for that clip. Gonna pull off this dram here, I believe, and go onto the bench moon. You can say hi to a nice person on the bench. Just say hi to the moon there. Do a free moon. Pretty fast one, too. And, uh, I believe he's gonna do some really cool stuff after he gets out of his box. He's gonna fling himself in the pole all the way around. Him. I mean, not really legit, but he's just gonna go really fast for a really short period of time. Well, he's not going to be going for the RC car, which isn't that much slower than the yeah, scoop car. just really hard for some reason. That's why I do scooter but no one, no matter how bad it is. I don't know how long, how long it takes because it's gonna be faster than me doing RC no matter what. Yeah, save from Scooter Clip is that um, you'll be closer to the uh, next moon than you would be with the RC car because you have to. I think it saves like ten, stay it saves seven seconds over an optimal RC, but that's really hard to get, so ten seconds on average, probably. Yeah. We'll yeah, see so if John pulls off this confirm that John's very uncomfortable with blind dive and chat, so that's why you got it. I mean, it doesn't matter right. that much. It's not gonna lose that much time, but... Pouncing on that taxi, which... Ooh, he's actually getting that, uh... Mm -hmm. That, uh, second pull flick, which I don't think is optimal. Yeah, this route used to be, like, the advanced route for a long time. But now it's just, like, the movement's not harder, so everyone just does this. Yeah. Although Doesn't I think that we saw Cheese do this earlier today. Go for the uh, beginner route from a while back. The musician's last. Yeah. Which I was freaking out. Like, yeah, oh, so wait, we're fine now. No, he's not. You're falling off City Hall there. After this race. Just fine, though. And now he's going to be in a bad uh, camera angle to get yeah. that. That wasn't the best, anyway. Yeah. Oh, oh no, he's missing that moon. 
That's not good. Okay, now he's gonna get this hint dart right here. Got it like that. Be pretty far ahead of John. Yeah, this is like a probably forty-five seconds to a minute. Which with these two skill levels are still very good at this point in the game. Moon here is since he didn't get that or since he got that moon early in uh, Night Metro. These are the last two rooms. You're supposed to like walk through these people, but you can just roll along the side and get it so much easier. And pulls off uh, City Hall climb better than Yuri. It's safe just climbing up like mm -hmm. normal. Which, I mean, it's faster than what Yuri did, I guess. Cool moon. Gonna get this hint out there. Now he's gonna. Uh, yeah, no, he's not gonna go for the long distance bullseye, but it's over. Pool in in the pool there is a uh, useful for snow, where you have you need 100 coins to uh, buy a moon from the shop, which is the fastest thing to do uh, as of right now. And uh, to top runners will. Yeah. Oh yeah, top runners will get a uh, hen art in cloud, but that's kind of difficult and most runners don't do that. Yeah. Only the like, top top runners do that. I'm not even sure everyone in top 10 does it, like I'd be wrong. Yeah, it only saves like maybe a second at the most. John practicing snow jam earlier, so yeah, John practicing snow jam earlier, so we'd be going for it. Yep. Go for it too. But it successfully, but I do it. Although also, go for it, you might want to be safe. Splits, which I don't think he is it means he's ahead of speed, but I don't know if he's ahead or not. Also, I don't think he's using splits. Yuri is using splits. And that was a nice Waluigi background. This PB actually. Actually, I'm not sure. Okay. I think Yuri's gonna go for Snowdrum. Yeah, okay, he's going for Snowdrum. Skip the shop. Yeah. You get it later. You skip the when the rain goes over. But you get shot after in this room. Okay, is he gonna go for the out of bounds clip right here? Oh, he might. Okay, he's going for it. I don't know if he got it. Nope. He didn't. I didn't. It only saves like two seconds, but you don't lose time by going for it, so. Taking an unfortunate bunk there. Into those um, snow sub areas can be annoying and can get you a really annoying bonk. Oh god. So Yuri's not getting the optimal movement there. He missed the cycle. Okay. Never really seen that type of movement to get that moon John over here, but it works, I guess. And is John gonna- oh, John's gonna be going for Snowdrum. Sing that, uh... Yeah, Snowdrum with the one white. Went for that clip too. But he. Oh, I don't know actually. But he did not get it, obviously. Let's see if Yuri. There. He can lead to some time losses. In rare cases, the Goomba there can run off and kill itself. Yeah, He's gonna go for the triple yeah, jump. Yeah, gotcha. like a roll cancel jump into a triple jump back here. Anything more for the right things? Yep, he's going for it. Oh, so no, no, He was gonna get it, but it was gonna be really cool, so we just didn't go for it. Probably when they made it across the game. Oh, it's perfectly fine.
All right. Um, Yuri is going into the shop. He's going to be buying this moon and then warping back to the Odyssey in time for Snowdram, which hopefully he gets first try. If not, it could be a potential time save for John, assuming he gets it first try. We'll see. He needs to move to about four or five times for John to catch up, which I don't think that this, this skill level is going to happen. I'm expecting a first try, if not a second try. Yeah, that one looks good. Oh, yep. Okay. I just don't really see that setup where you turn the camera like that. We'll see if John is as, uh, gets it as good as Yuri. It might take a little bit longer setting up, but he's going for it. I expect him to get it, so. Soon enough to get it first try if he's going for it. Yeah, so John Rossin is about to attempt it. Going into Seaside, which I mean, you don't really get too many major yeah, time losses. He had a split, but other than that, Seaside is normally real easy. Kind of a yeah. Bummer. Yeah, I'll open the out of balance flip and almost flipping in balance can give you heart attack sometimes, but. Although I think yeah. he's missing it. Oh, yeah, John Ross is just some Oh, no. Basically, once you start going for Snow Dream, you've committed, you can't stop going for it, unless you just want to lose more time than missing some but... You can't just work back down. He's committed. Oh, like... Let's go for it. You'd have to go back into Shiveria and go into the Rango Room, which that's extremely slow. Oh yeah, always missing again. This can he's already losing about 40 seconds. Shin moon movement. Yeah. Up attempting again, lining up, that takes about 40 seconds. Okay, there he gets it third try. Could be worse. Triple jump there. I but... think Yori's timer paused. Uh oh. I don't know how long ago that happened. Weird. I don't know if that's on my end or not. John was having trouble with. Snowdram, but he, he got it, and he's finally leaving Snow now and going into Seaside. Or then will PB at this point. Yeah, so, um... I'm not sure how his time falls, but we don't have to worry about that right now. They both started equally, so John's timer should be lined up to where he is. Yeah. When the race started, you talked about how much it was in sync. And I know he's using splits, so I'm not really sure how that happened. Okay. Oh! He was too close to the fish when doing fish clips, so that's not something you see often missing. missing it. We don't lose that much time, though. That point, a second try is faster than doing this. He shouldn't clip out of bounce here. Yeah. That's good. Clipping in bounce is extremely annoying. Is Large so time loss. Well, with enough practice, you can consistently not do it. And there is a setup you can do to not clip in so that beginners still use this trick. Oh, okay. So I'm getting word from your this live split just like crashed. So. All right, now Yuri's going on a luncheon, which luncheon is probably among the biggest run killers in late game, especially. It looks like he reset his timer back to minus seven. That isn't good. Yeah, I think he closed it and reopened it. Mm -mm. 
more rest. Yeah, John's timer is. Yeah, I just want to get really quick, so it's just. Mm -hmm. Triple. Well, we're going to see John going up to this fish clip in a moment. Hopefully, he doesn't clip uh, inbounds, which could be a disaster for him. John doing the setup for fish clip. Still saving lots of time doing the I mean, sprint, I'm, I'm sorry, Yuri's gonna fight Spewer here. It's the same for lunge and for all skill levels, but we're gonna see a skill level difference in what they do. Definitely. For example, at the beginning, we missed it. Uh, Yuri did, I think he did salt triple. He pulled it off just fine. We'll see if John Rossum goes for that. I don't believe he will. I certainly did not do Saw Triple with 108. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Saw Triple. It only saves like one second if, if we do the other jump off. And we'll yeah. gonna go up to this uh too he's gonna pull go up to this moon here and then collect uh, the box's moon with a relatively difficult uh triple jump here wall jump and uh hitting the box while diving can be a little tricky when you're just learning Let's go for a saw triple. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I'm not sure if he did. We'll see if Yuri uh, does the camera nip here for if he. Yeah. If he uh... I guess he's gonna do the camera nip. Yeah, he's doing camera nip. Unless he somehow speed hacks. Yeah, he has. Oh no. Oh, he's not gonna do it. And he bonked there, so that loses a lot of time. All right, so it, this can be a major guy here. That and that I was actually really risky. Uh oh. See, John Rossman's I just spoke the other four. But that's basically at the very end. The only difference you're gonna see between skill levels and full room, basically the same. Nothing noticeable if you don't speed during this game. Or pay very much attention. So John did not go for the uh oh. Is John going for the uh just to go uh, on the top of this mountain here rather than going uh well, that jump can be pretty scary. I have a lot of trouble with that jump. Yeah. Up there, but it's... Okay, John Ross is going to go Yeah. Box triple jump up just fine. In the well, pot. Here for a good bunch, but it's always that behind the tall, tall mountains jump at the very end, which can screw some runners over sometimes. Indeed. Gary has had very much trouble this luncheon, which is good news for him. This will be the only spot where this lunch can go wrong now. Well, let's see if he falls. Oh. 
post thing. But yeah. John's in forks now. I don't know how good of a luncheon this was, but to me it didn't look like there was Mistakes. Oh, besides that, he missed uh, the camera on Minipolis. Strat. Yeah, I wasn't really paying close attention to his beginning, he might have missed all triple. Okay, I'm just a little bit quiet. Okay, it's one in the morning, what do you guys expect? Uh oh, John's having a little bit of trouble here. He's <laughs> fine. Going up to cheese, which is just so annoying. Probably one of the worst moons in the game. Like this is so just the worst. It's not RNG, but it feels like RNG. RNG? I don't think I don't think it's RNG. I mean, it might be where the pants fly, but like it definitely one hundred percent feels like RNG. Or the cheese. How long it takes to break it. Mm. See, the timers are basically synced, so I'll still be able to know. I actually missed it, so I'm looking at the stream to find it. Still 47, which is good, so yeah. I don't think Yori can be because of his awarded main it. Yeah. I still have like a problem. He may, might still be a little more over 104. Yeah, so now Yuri's going into Ru Ruin Kingdom, which auto scroller basically. Really scroller in this game. Are we supposed to plug here or what? Time in, and he's gonna be leaving luncheon as well. He had a little bit uh, more trouble with lunch. John or Yuri? Well, being in ruined, um. Definitely give these runners a follow. I believe their Twitch names are the same that are on the stream. Definitely. In case, if he gets a 17 minute arc of local average, you can still win on six, but I don't think that's Just a follow. Give us a follow too, I guess. And if you're not followed a speedy speedrun, give them a follow too. Honestly, you can probably TV by a minute. I'm not sure yet. You can follow Seriously? Us, follow the commentators. Follow me, the restreamer. Follow the speedy speedy and follow everybody. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I would say Ruin's the most optimized kingdom out of all of them. That... It's just, there's not very much room for time loss here. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. And is... Probably one of the least optimized kingdoms in the game, and... Yeah, although it's, it's very optimized. But it's still yeah. you always about can nothing too hard at the beginning. Although I think he's gonna do crates. I don't think he's doing a few dreams. Yeah, no, he's not doing. He's gonna say like what he would do. Yeah, he does wander. 
thing of Bowser's is fine, like you said, but then once we get into shards and after that, it can be a little tricky and can lead to some time loss if you're not yeah, careful. It's really straightforward. It just depends if you're over your game or not. The, the goal about Bowser's for races, at least, is um, the death uh, kind of a zone is really low, so you have to wait a while before you even die. So it can lead to even more time loss if you die. Yeah, dying in Bowser really sucks. Up on shards. We'll see how he does, he, he does here. I don't think he's not going to get the cluster. Really cool. See if he does die back right here. I don't know, he's not going to do it. I don't know, he'll be last in the game of distance. Not going for that. Slightly Maybe. faster strat that you might see Mitch or Tyron do. Oh, okay, good. You just get the shots. Oh, oh okay. He's That's not good. Really. Lose a little bit of time here. And like a second on the moon. Is he? Like, get Izzy. Just hold that. So, average shard is not the best for Yori. Yeah. But he got the job done. He made it out. Mm -hmm. Still ahead. Yeah, he's still ahead by quite a bit. Probably about two minutes. Yuri will be going for Bowser Dram here. Although I would love to be proven wrong. Since yeah, that strat is pretty cool to watch. Oh, he might be. Oh, he misses it. That doesn't happen that often. Normally you would lose time to setting it up, but no, missing it loses part of it. Okay, now is he going to go for Harry first or a good person? Yes, he is. Thank goodness. Yeah, thank goodness. If you go for Chopper first, I don't know what to say. Just disgusting. So Yuri's doing the faster method of fighting Harry at where oh, he messed it up. But um if you pull it off correctly, you would uh do the uh first person camera at a specific uh angle and throw your cap and Harriet's bomb would hit her a little faster, like you just saw there. That's a strat that's mainly for uh, top runners. It doesn't save very much. I don't think you'll be seeing John go for it. But it's one of the small time saves that will set uh, these two runners apart, for sure. If John plays really well, he might be the one else. I don't think that's going to be the case. Oh no, Yuri. Yuri is having a lot of trouble with Topper. Topper, if you mess him up, you might you. everywhere, and you might not know which one is the real Topper. Can lead to a lot of All right. I actually went for Bowser's Jam too. I was not expecting that. And he pulled it off. So that's actually time save for him. Compared to Yuri. So good work from him. Can we get a Pog Champ in chat? Never mind, retract that. No Pog Champs. John is going for Topper first. Which is. Honestly, just... um, John needs a 15:30 p.m. the PB, which is very doable as long as he doesn't screw it much up. Although it looks like he did topper pretty well, which is gonna definitely save time. Yes. Um, 
this Yori's black probably doing the advanced knife. I'm expecting bird strats from John, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't like a bird strats. Although, I, I don't know. Yeah. For sure. Yori's um, expecting a target of water for him. I don't know that yet. I don't think he's in the part of fire. I think he's going to be great. Yep. Ten bird lists. Okay, I hope. They want to be one bird list. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anyone in two runners not go for bird lists. Yeah. We saw Tommy with a little cloud go for bird chat. I don't know if he's very used, but I'm pretty sure that's the best person I've ever seen with a bird list. I'm in bird chat. Alright. He's only about that's a minute and a half to two minutes ahead. Yeah, he's wanting up to fire the fire. Ooh, that's an impact. Oh, he misses it. No! The fire. That's losing him about 30 seconds. John, This is gonna give John a chance to catch up here. Take that's about 20 seconds. Yeah, that's gonna lose him about 30 seconds. Maybe a little bit lower. The quicker strat of uh, climbing the mech where you do a backflip into the up throw so you can capture the bird quicker, which he pulled that off very great, which is excellent. Not going for the blind movement there, which I wouldn't expect considering that he is not. Yeah. Happy with the blind dive in Metro either. I'm surprised he even went for crates. I would think if you aren't comfortable with a uh, blind jump, then you just get to Pokey Ogre, which is much easier. The bird jam can be uh, kind yeah, of tricky. I guess it can be tricky if the spiny can screw you over, but I guess if you don't kill the spiny, I just kill the spiny first. But if you don't kill the spiny, you can't be healing all the spiny for you. Still Decent Bowser's falling off. Oh. No, the shards are pretty sloppy. And Papa wasn't I guess John's going to. Still probably sub 9, maybe? I don't know. There's no timer, so I can't really tell. He had bird shots from John, like I expected. The runners are one mech fight away. Oh. No! Oh, okay. That was close from John there. Okay. Oh, the ears are gonna mess him up. Uh oh. Nope, he's gonna make it on. This is a Monka S uh, mech fight. So maybe he's just gonna do the slow ground pound spirit shit. I don't think he's doing dark recorder. Yeah. Oh, he's going for the fast spirit. I did not expect that. Let's go. Let's see if John gets his Harriet. Uh oh. I time over Yuri's falling off Mac. But well, far enough ahead that I don't believe that he will lose barring any major yeah. Several failures of 2D Scooper. Still well, sub hours. It's probably gonna be a 103 or 104. My guess is a 104. This Bowser isn't that good. John's Bowser's was actually pretty good. For his skill level, with bird traps at least. Yeah, John's Bowser's exit and see uh, if he has any chance of peeping. Well, PB base. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be about a 101. Uh, 32 mm. or so. 33. I don't, 106, but I don't think he's gonna do that. He needs like a 520 something. That's probably not happening. This should be easy, uh, PB pace for him it's, then. It's gonna be, unless he like dies, like, he can even die to 2D twice and stuff, PB. He's gonna get his uh, 107. 
Yeah, it's looking at a one so. Oh yeah, PB with third try snow jam. I think I remember him dying some more. Yeah, PB with a third try snow jam and a missed meme tree. Wow. For the race of John is happy with his PB or not? It means he's a lot better than his PB. His run overall has been clean besides the third try snow jam. Death That's true. Going for this uh, vector here, triple jump vector. We're hitting the controller at a 45 degree angle in order to go faster mm -hmm. uh, in the surface in his triple jump so you can make it. To that uh, area without having to do any sort of oh bonking there. Yeah. Not getting a little boost roller, unfortunately. And coming up to moves. Getting the fast hats we saw from earlier. Except for you don't have to. I don't believe you have to do manips here because Bowser goes to the same place over. So this fight is debatably easy. And skip well, which uh, skips the moon cave that most uh, or that you would do in uh, casual play. Let's see if he's right. Yeah, Yori can't one off three. I think he can most likely one off four. Solid with the. Uh... Well, one off four is always solid. Definitely solid for uh, Yuri's PP. PP is old. Yeah, these groups were random. I mean, they weren't randomized. They were by PB with a little bit of random. We were separated into like four quadrants and one from each quadrant. One, two, three. Like they Yuri's gonna. I believe one of the lower PVs in the so this was expected no more. I'm gonna pull off this win here with a 104. If he gets a good pillars, you can work. If he doesn't get a good pillars, which is pretty hard to do, he's gonna get a class so of the bombs on the five if he gets his area one. John had a little bit of trouble pulling off the yeah, well, we're going to a good race time, but he would almost a one on for you. I don't think that John has been cost to 107, though. Definitely has not been cost as PB. But Yori, obviously. See, so that's too much for Right. Um, I want to say that's like a 104 or 50. 104 or 50 something. I'm gonna go with 104.56. You're wrong. Nope, 104.57. So, um, we can, right, get, we can get Yori in for an interview. Alright. So, Yori, you may unmute. Okay, right. we have Yori in for an interview and sub. I am here. So how's the race? Uh, it went pretty terrible, to be honest. I, I suspected better. John's the real winner here, being so close to his to his to be. So um, was, there, was there, besides missing not the book course, was there anything particular about your run that you just didn't like, thought could have gone better? So what did you say, What aside from what? Besides not the book that you missed, of course, and just what it in general. Uh, let me think. Uh, there were definitely some parts that went pretty bad, like Mega Brutal. Uh, oh yeah, I was in terms of color, that was in Oh yeah. Yeah. In Brutals, I just... I kind of went for all the strats because I didn't really care anymore. And I knew 
I, I didn't I wouldn't lose much time if I eat and if I didn't get him. So it was fun. I don't know if you knew what your time was, but I believe your time was a one oh four fifty seven. Yeah, I think I think it was about just about a one oh four. Because your timers were synced when I started, so I was just going off of John's timer. I remember Day Metro being really bad, but I don't remember why. Happy with your time in general? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, all in all, none of the spits were really good. Like, I think they're all like slightly below what I get on average. And then, of course, would it, we don't talk about with it. When your uh, PB is simply you didn't do it, right? Hmm? You had a bad shards, topper was bad, and you missed hard acquirer. I don't know what your Bowser IL time was. Uh, I don't know either. But I, I, I would. Huge we'll probably PB. Be around Let's go, John. Over a minute. This man, yeah, John just came back for a minute, so congrats to him. We can also get John in for an interview if he's able to. Let's get some GG's in the chat. Yeah, GG's in the chat. John just beat you by over a minute. John in. To, uh, you can unmute. Oh, oh shit. Hey, can, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, yes, we can. We can. Yes. Okay. Nice. So how'd you feel about that run, John? Fuck you, John. <laughs> hey, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I actually, after um, what it was, after after Moonskip, I was really, my heart was pounding really fast. I actually messed up uh, the Bowser's fight uh, pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, then, I did too. Uh, I remember now. Yeah, I missed one of the fast hat. I was too close to the fa to the hat, so when I backflip, I hit the hat. But um, uh, and also I got like a, I bonked twice my head on the two D skip. So <laughs> I, I just really oh, didn't yeah. want to, to to fall. So, but uh, like taking apart um, the death on Mean Tree and the uh, Snowdram. It was a pretty good overall uh, uh, run for me. I'm, I'm like I would def describe myself as pretty inconsistent with all the tricks and all the stuff. So, so having a good like having a good sand, a good wooded, a good luncheon, it's uh, it's really it's really surprising for me. Yeah, you're the real winner here. God damn it. <laughs> If only yeah. I could be beat by a minute. If only. Well, Definitely a good run from you, John. Yeah. Despite the mistakes, I mean, it, even though you made mistakes, I mean, that just shows you have even more PB potential in the future. Maybe you'll PB again in one of these future races. Yeah, it's it's funny because my last PB was actually in a speedy speed run race. Really? Oh, was it really? Yeah, it was uh, it was the first I think uh, any percent uh, tourney that, that uh, the guys did here in Speedy Speed Run. It was it was really cool, and uh, it's crazy to see. Like I remember AC Arcos or Pentira or uh, it was someone else, but I can't remember the name right now. They were in the tourney, and that tourney I don't know their PVs were like 107, 106. Now guys have like a 101, 102s. Uh, it's it's really cool to see the improvement like from one tourney to the other. I had a I had a uh, 1010 starting that tourney, and I finished with the 108 uh, 36. We'll see uh, how you do in your next race. See if you get another one minute PV or. How you do then? <laughs> yeah, well, thank you, thank you guys for for commenting. Thank you to to Yuri for the for the race. Yeah, thank, thank you, you uh, 
yeah, and thank you all who was watching. It was really late, I know, but uh, thank you for everybody who watched. Same goes for me. And thank you. Same, thank you, Zypher, for restreaming and commentating with me. I had a lot of fun. This is my first time commentating, so. Yeah, who can? I don't think we I think will find anyone else at 12 in the morning for match for right, and it's 1 30 <laughs> right now, so I don't think anyone was willing to stay up that late. It's just 12 30 for me. No, it's 1 30 for me. Yeah, uh, it's 6 30. Oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna try to, to, to get more reasonable times. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I hope I'll do the same. Mm. I have nothing to go to sleep for, but I'm probably going to bed after this, but it's late. Yeah, All right. congrats to Brown the baby. Um, I believe... Technically later today for us Eastern people, we have Daily P96 and Lusterus at 3 p.m. Eastern, and then Hayes G Man vs. Gavin G72 at 5 Eastern, so stay tuned for that, even though that'll be in a while. All mm -hmm. right. Honors, follow us, the commentators. Follow Zypher, follow Yuri Wessels, follow John Rossums. And see you later. Yeah. Bye, everybody.